Hi, this is Katrina Kennedy with Capture Your 365. Welcome to my Lightroom workflow series. Today, we're gonna cover presets. I'm gonna take you out on the internet. We're going to find um, some spots with great presets. We're gonna install those, apply them, and um, call it a day. It's a quick and simple video. Presets are really one of the most powerful tools of Lightroom. I use them frequently. Uh, when I need to edit photos quickly, it's nice to be able to apply a preset and and go from there. One of the things about Lightroom 4 is that in the develop module in the especially the basic settings have really changed. The algorithm is different than it was in Lightroom 3. So those Lightroom 3 presets that you have aren't going to apply the same way as Lightroom 4. Don't you love that I live by a train? It only comes um, a couple of times during the day. I thought I'd missed it already, um, but obviously I was wrong. So uh, you might not be able to hear, hear it, but it tends to blow its whistle right at the inopportune moment. But I think we're okay now. So um, the Lightroom 3 presets, like I was saying, aren't um, going to work in the same way in Lightroom 4. So we've got to go out and find some Lightroom 4 presets. You can adjust your Lightroom 3 presets. There is a way to do that and I'm going to link you up to a video by Matt Kleskowski that's going to walk you through how to do that. But today we're just going to start fresh and new with some Lightroom 4 presets. So let's go ahead and head out to the internet where um, I will show you some of my go-to spots. Uh, my favorite spot is Lightroom Killer Tips. This is Matt Kleskowski's website, and um, he has lots of free presets on his um, website. Not as many for Lightroom 4, but he's going back through his older ones and updating them, which is kind of exciting. So he's got this great Summer Haze preset. He's updated his Ultimate Fighter preset, which was a really popular one from Lightroom 3, um, he's got some HDR, so those are available on his website. And with most all of the presets that you find, it's really, really simple. You're going to click their link, it's and it's going to download to your preferred download spot. I'm putting mine right into my downloads folder. You don't have to put it there. Um, you can put it anywhere on your computer. You don't have to put it in a specific folder for Lightroom, um, which is kind of a nice little feature. So uh, that's lightroomkillertips.com. Then let's go over to Eric Kim Photography's website. Eric Kim is a street photographer. He is a fantastic street photographer. If that is something that is, has in, intrigues you, I would spend some time taking a look around his website. And he has 15 free Lightroom presets for street photography. These work for any photography though. Um, these are some great, great presets. And these are the ones I'm gonna use today to um, edit the photo that you saw of my brother and my son playing cowboy. Um, this is, again, you're just gonna click the download link to install it, and, or to um, download it rather, and then I'll show you how to install. All right, I've already downloaded those. And then um, another new site to me that has some great presets is Preset Heaven. And they also have a sister site for presets that you can purchase. What I really love about Preset Heaven or Presets Heaven is that the way they display them. So you can really easily see what each of the presets does. Um, just a great way of showing you what they've got available. So again, click that download link and uh, your desired download location. If you're on a PC, Windows-based, you're going to need to unzip that file, uh, not so on a Mac. All right, so let's go ahead and go back over into Lightroom. And um, we are going to install that uh, Eric Kim's uh, presets. So uh, really pretty simple. We want to be in the develop module where it in the presets panel uh, and we're going to click control and or control click rather and we're going to create a new folder. I like to keep each of my presets together according to who makes them so that I know and I'm just going to label this Eric Kim. I'm going to create that folder for him 
and then I'm going to control click again on it, select import, command A to select all, import those, and there you go. That easily, that quickly, we've got all of them. So with my photo now, I am going to um, just move my cursor over each of these and in the preview panel you're going to see each of the photos previewed until I see something that looks interesting. So it really just depends on the look you're going for. I tend to do a lot of black and white. That is my first love and um, so I'm going to look into those black and whites. I like I like that. That's nice, nice, quick and easy. Then if I want to fine tune it, I can come on over to the um, the basics panel and go into the black and white panel as well and do any fine tuning that I want to do. But I think I'm going to leave this one alone. Um, and that is that for um, installing a preset and adding it to the photo. Just as simple as that. In next week's video, we're going to take this same photo, we're going to export it, and I'm going to show you several different ways um, that you can go about doing that so that you can get this photo to a scrapbook page or to Flickr or to share somewhere that you'd like to share or just to simply save it on your hard drive for a future project. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, leave me a comment in the comments to let me know how you liked today's video and anything that you'd like to see in future videos. I appreciate you, you taking the time to be part of Capture Your 365.